you. Welcome to Coin6 News at Noon today. I'm Mike Murad. And I'm Jenny Hansen. Chris Woodard just got out of a meeting where the two unveiled what they say will help fix the roads. Chris? Yeah, and after months of back and forth, community meetings, and the two actually backing down once, well, the mayor and transportation commissioner are back with this new plan that they say will help to fix the roads, and they want to vote on it next month. Now, here is what we just learned a few minutes ago about exactly how this plan will work. Now, the projections are that the fees or taxes will raise $46 million for road maintenance and safety repairs a year. All Portland businesses will pay between $3 and $144 a month. That would be based on a formula that takes into account number of employees, square footage of the business, and revenue. Now, nonprofits will get a 50% discount there. Individuals like you and I, regular people who live in Portland, will also have to pay. We'll pay in a bracketed income tax. For example, a couple making forty to sixty thousand dollars a year will pay five dollars a month. All the way up to a couple making more than three hundred fifty thousand dollars a year, they would pay seventy-five dollars a month. A couples making less than thirty-five thousand dollars a year, or individuals making less than twenty-five, they would pay nothing. I think that. We've had a robust debate. We put a proposal on the table. Um, politics works in the sense that people have had a chance to have their say, and people that wanted to roll up their sleeves and make a difference got a chance to do that. Um, politics is also sometimes a bruising business, and we expect that no good deed will go unpunished. So another important question here, how will this money be collected? Well, the businesses will pay along with their business taxes, Individuals will pay along with the arts tax when they pay that Portland arts tax. Now, the mayor and commissioner Novick stood strong today about the fact that they have zero intention to send this to a public vote. They say there will be another public hearing in front of the council on November 20th. And then on December 3rd, the city council will make a final decision about if this plan goes forward. Obviously, that's not coming without some complaints. Just today, in fact, there's new opposition that stepped up because they don't like part of this plan. Later tonight on Coin News at 4, 5, and 6, we'll let you hear from that opposition and why they have concerns and are hoping to get this changed now at the 11th hour. Live downtown, I'm Chris Woodard for Coin 6 News.